But today, the FBI descended upon Laundrie's home in Northport, collecting evidence and speaking with his parents. ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomon has been following this story since the very beginning. She joins us live with the latest. So, Julie, what's the status of the search now? Wendy, at this point, this neighborhood is fairly quiet except for a couple Northport police officers. But earlier today, FBI agents were inside the home behind me. But the FBI announcing tonight it has concluded its search. Their search is over, but still so many questions remain, including where is Brian Laundry? FBI agents surrounding Brian Laundrie's family home in Northport Monday. Authorities executing a search warrant while placing Laundrie's parents into a van before eventually allowing them to go back inside. Police named Brian a person of interest after his fiance Gabby Petito disappeared while the couple was out west on a cross-country road trip. I hope they find him alive so they can get answers and what went down. Agents spending hours in and out of the home collecting evidence. Our cameras rolling as a tow truck took a Mustang out of the driveway. On Sunday, the FBI said human remains were discovered consistent with Petito's description after numerous agencies were searching the Bridger Teton National Forest just outside Grand Teton National Park. Full forensic identification has not been completed to confirm 100% that we found Gabby but her family has been notified of this discovery. Over the weekend, authorities searched the Carlton Reserve in Sarasota County looking for Brian after his parents reported him missing, saying he went on a hike. Northport police announcing Monday they are still searching for Brian, but are no longer looking in that area. Brian and Gabby left for a road trip in July, visiting several national parks before Brian returned to Northport on September 1st without her. Police recovering the white van the couple was traveling in. Utah police now releasing a 911 call from a witness in Moab reporting a fight between the couple. Uh, we drove by and the gentleman was slapping the girl. Body camera video shows officers pulling over the white van outside Arches National Park on August 12th. Officers separated the two for the night, but no charges were filed. Officers labeled the incident as a mental breakdown rather than a domestic assault. Gabby's family says they last spoke to her on the phone on August 25th. Authorities are still searching for Brian Laundrie. His attorney had a press conference scheduled for tomorrow in New York. That press conference has since been canceled. If anyone has any information regarding this case, they're asked to contact the FBI. Reporting live in Northport, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News. Joy,